One of the things that we uh, often have to educate uh, patients with uh, who are dealing with uh, sciatic nerve issues is that they have to eliminate any type of straight leg or hamstring style stretching. So, you know, it could look as simple as, you know, bending over to touch our toes, something like this. They can pop on the ground, do the old fashioned runner stretch. And all of that feels like they're stretching muscle, but if we've determined that they have some irritation at the sciatic nerve, if they continue to do this, then all they're doing is, because there's not enough freedom there, they're gonna to continue to irritate things. So that's usually one of the first things that we uh, have to uh, kind of fix um, outside of the office there. So, but what we'll do is we'll give them an alternative exercise instead, where we still want them to get mobility here, but we just want them to do it in the right way. Uh, so we teach them a, um, a mechanism to actually floss that nerve. So we take advantage of uh, head movement because when I bring my head back, remember I can actually slack the nerves and that allows me a little bit more freedom at the leg and hip. So essentially what the exercise looks like, they get a slight extension uh, at the neck with some uh, slacking of, of the nerve. They're gonna be able to bring it up and their foot back they shouldn't reproduce any symptoms here. They stop just shy of that. They return it down. They relax their head, bring it back, and they'll repeat that again. And they'll notice by the time they get to their eighth, ninth, 10 repetitions, they have just a little bit more motion at the hip because they are getting some freedom in that nerve. And oftentimes uh, we'll have to give them this uh, several times a day uh, as an exercise. If things are really tight, uh, sometimes we may stop that short. We don't allow any full uh, straightening of the knee. Instead, they can bring uh, leg backs so about 90 degrees at the hip here, relax everything with the spine. We don't have to worry about head movement at all because we're not getting full stretch on that sciatic nerve. They start to straighten that leg until they feel some tension. They don't want to go any further there. And all they're going to do from here is pump their foot. And then same thing, by the time they get their last three repetitions, they may notice that they can straighten their leg just a little bit more. And again, they're just getting a little bit more freedom and mobility at that sciatic nerve. So uh, those are a couple exercises that we give. Um, again, most important thing is make sure we got the right diagnosis first. Um, but hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please uh, make sure you uh, like and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thanks.